Okay. It's time for Ace Combat 7. It's time. We're here. I'm very excited. <laughs> So, for those of you watching on the VOD, welcome. This has been collecting dust for months since I decided I was going to stream this game. <laughs> I'm not going to use it a lot, but I'm going to at least once. <laughs> at least once I want to use it just so that I could say I spent good money on it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's even on. Yes. Welcome to the first Marco Meatball affiliated stream on, uh, <laughs> the first affiliate stream on Twitch. Today, I'm officially affiliate. I'm supposed to say something like, trying to get to t t 10 subs or whatever. Uh, what? Oh, I was joking, but. Twitch told me to ask you for 10 subs. I did get my title. Thank you for the help. Yeah, I'm trying to get to a partner on, on Twitch. Man, would Ace Combat fans have a meltdown if I just did standard? Yo. I don't even think this thing is going to work. I probably was supposed... Oh, it does work. <gasps> oh my god, it does work. <laughs> oh my god, this is stupid. How do I do this? Uh... There's no alerts for subbing. I, I see them. I'm getting alerts in the mail. It, it on my in my when I say mail, I mean my. Uh, <clears throat> when I say mail, I mean my email. Okay. Change view with Y. Accelerate, decelerate. <clears throat> I think I've played this game before, to be honest with you, but I played it so fast that I don't remember it. Like, I remember bits. I wish I could just, like... Ooh. Listen to this. Subs, gifts, or use or use bits now to start a hype train. What the hell is that? Oh, thanks, Emma. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. That's what they say here on the old Twitch. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Lenny, thanks for, does to me. for tier two sub. Is that what I'm supposed to say? When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. I have to eat because I'm a little sleepy. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Lines in my DNA. Is it low? So, 
My grandpa didn't want. Sorry. Me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. Hopefully it's better now. No, Abby. I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Better or perfect? Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle this is of the a really desert interesting. west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but Thanks most for of them the are sub. just rusted piles of junk Hype train. scrapped. I don't know what that means. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to this take whatever Western he wanted, vibe is really interesting no to me. questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills mm. and some dirty jokes. But with some their aging eyeballs crackers. and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another this track is like, half after that to finally get the oh my God. frame just right. Oh my God! I gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl. We made the school, subscription but, goal. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's <clears> peaceful. <throat> Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Damn. Damn, I'm kind of excited. Sub goal met! Thanks, Juan! Listen to these strings. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is cool. So, I flew up. Straight up. Through the clouds. Higher into the sky. Dark blue. touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 G's at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erosion emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Should have built a deterrent field. Whoa! And she's dead. <clears throat> that was an act of war. Also, I am mostly joking. I, I did buy this this flight pad, but I'll probably end up using the settle controller. Down. I said, settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Mostly just a friendly troll. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. <laughs> 
It's possible Just being silly. the ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. Mm -mm. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. I'm using expert, whatever. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Sorry about your internet. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? What the hell was that? We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Also to you founder folks that are first to like sign up for members, for member stuff or whatever it's called, tiers. I will have tiers for you tomorrow. For you, special, special whatever. Okay, I'm playing as Trigger. I move the camera with camera zoom. What are these buttons? There's no, there's no fucking way. <laughs> there's no fucking way I can actually play with this stick. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, these, these people are all my friends. Um. Yeah, you'll get emotes tomorrow. I meant tears, yeah. Tears, yeah. I haven't added like custom emotes and stuff. Custom Rooney, thank you. I meant badges though. All right. Ooh, okay. Which one do I pick? Let's see. They all look the same to me. Oh. Whoa! DLC stuff. Thanks, Chester Rooney, for the subscriber. Well, clearly I'm gonna go with these. <laughs> Just kidding. Grazie, Nick. Oh, the Top Gun plane. Okay. How stupid would it be if I was just rocking the Dark Star? Very stupid. Let's go with the F-16. Oops. Sortie! Need squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. I just I just wanted to say that I used this flight stick once because I spent like money on it. <clears throat> Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. It's Stay like all up. dusty and shit. What's happening? Bombers <laughs> incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to sky. Whoa! Team. Hurry, main squadron. I don't remember this game at all. Trigger, your call sign is page two. Verify and read back. Whoa! Page two, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Oh my god, I pushed forward on the throttle. Oh my god, cool! I've never used the flight stick. Hard in the last attack. 
Expect the worst and stay sharp. I'm, I'm obviously gonna go. I'm gonna switch here soon, but I just want to try it out. I'm your wingman. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Okay, ah. here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. You're a good pilot. Oh so my I god, I'm gonna have to switch to. Empty spot, There's so no way I can do this. Off. Oh god. It's still a leash, though. I should probably switch. Let me uh, let me switch. Locked. Uh, I gotta figure this out. Homing missile. Oh my god, the rain! I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off here. Chaffin flares at zero. Man, I suck. I suck. Hey, thanks, mama. Okay, hang on. Let, let's restart. Okay, I want to do this. Let me do this the right way. <laughs> Let me do this the right way. I was just being silly. Thanks, my mangoid. I'll save this for Microsoft Flight, Flight Simulator. Was just a friendly troll. Was just a friendly troll. Hold on. I just wanted to say I used it once. Okay. All right. Let me just restart. Hey, wait, why doesn't, uh... Oh! Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So I can't use right stick? Okay. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Fuck, man. If it isn't the fucking audio, it's my fucking webcam. <clears throat> Thank you. I see it. I'm sorry. I swear, it's one thing or another with this fucking thing. Restart. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers income. Don't know how many. Guys, don't get my mods attitude. Mage squadron head to run. They're just protecting me. Come on. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage Squadron. Okay. Trigger your call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with Mage Thanks for the subscription, eh, Glassy? Mage 2, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. Control. Looks like the taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. 
I was jokingly using a flight stick. Mage 2, warm up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. So what's the difference between, uh... What's the difference between expert and standard? In the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. Hello. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Hold on. No, I'm on expert. There's no way this is... <clears throat> this is novice? Shit, okay. Oh, no, I'm a normal difficulty expert. Okay. I thought I was an expert. Oh, oh man, that's fucking cool! I love this like anticipatory sound here, right? Mage 
make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. We'll come. Golem 2, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Kind of shit that really chaps my ass. He said. <laughs> Pilot talk trademark. Oh shit. The Oce Ocean Federation has a space elevator. Shit, I missed. Well, I want to play expert. I thought, I, am I not using expert? No, this is going to bother me because I feel like I, uh, yeah. What else could I possibly be doing? Expert, standard, tilt by turn, turn by rolling and pitching. That's what we. Well, I'm glad the Ace Combat Vets approve. <laughs> Kept you waiting, didn't I? Oh, you son of a bitch. Box two. Locked on. Well, at least we're going to hear these tracks a lot. Yo, that's very satisfying. It, it's it's a it's Xbox controller. Ugh, slow down. Fuck. Okay, that's the special. Oh!
Why? Why? Is, why? Okay, so when I push X, when I push X, it allows me to switch my missile type to the special ammo. Thank you for those of you that subbed. I appreciate that. What's the deal with all the drones? Column one, return to base and report for debriefing. Thanks, source. Trigger your call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. Situation is tight. Do I get like a score or something? It is a Capcom game, isn't it? No, Bandai Namco, sorry. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the... We know the attacking bogeys were from Arusha. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. That was... Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the... That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. I thought that was an hour. I was like, that was an hour? Beep? Okay. Hey! Yeah, I'm on Twitch now. Or the VOD channel. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. Mm. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the <laughs> enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Osean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian army. Reports say former President uh -oh. Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erusia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been <laughs> under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack ENN. on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Uh oh. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent. So who is this girl? Plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war. One they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. 
The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Hey Asia, Nether, yeah, I'm loving str I paid for prefer by Twitch. The President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, um. it looked like Osia was moving in to take over. Arusia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. Again with this like western like When they like, started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. Like gunslingers, you know. The second the declaration hit the news, Arusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. Sorry for the chewing, by the way. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Arusian ships that were docked all around Osia released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osia pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, oh. but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Oh, so she got, that's why she got shot down. Damn. Wrong place, wrong time. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. Oh shit. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, Damn. I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns. And a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base. But half the tanker trucks were just big balloons. What? And the runways weren't <laughs> even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed plane oh. that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. Oh shit. She like walked away though. Hobbled away. Where was she gonna go? She's in the middle of a well. Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhan continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching. On oh, the buddy, space. thanks, Loom. You don't have to do that, Greg. Thank the you. The multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian. Thanks, military. Greg. <clears throat> After the previous war, the thanks, space Kapala. Elevator became both a symbol of peace wow. and a valuable asset. I appreciate that so much, y'all. 
Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. Kapolison. 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 Air Base Kapol Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. I'm enjoying it very much. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar. I played it right when it came out, you are and I played it like in a day. Not pose much of a threat. So I don't even think I finished it. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will. Ah oh, man, Greg. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Loomf and I were in a uh, we're in a Star Wars clan back when we were like thirteen. I do have the DLC. I came prepared. Loomf and I have known each other for legitimately nearly 30 years. <laughs> uh, okay, so, okay, okay. Anybody remember Star Wars Jedi Outcast? That's what I used to play with Loomf. <laughs> Thanks, Kapala. Is this a classic tune? Good, good game. Okay, so... <clears throat> Is this like personal preference? <laughs> yeah, Lou, we should definitely do that. <laughs> I suck. I suck then and I suck now. Yeah, Jedi Outcast is what I meant. Ah. Uh. No, I don't know when to play. I don't know when to play the DLC. All right, so. Oh, I want that. Okay, hold on. I want that. I want... It's all preference? Okay. Oops. All right, so the briefing said that the enemies are on ground, so... I forgot, there's parts too. miss European flights at combat flight simulator I mean not European combat flight simulator the current target is on rails but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry destroy the target but HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities but uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory no point arguing that's how war is these days do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Fox 
Oh shit, I'm empty. Pulled too hard. Missile. Missile. Missile, missile. <laughs> Box 
I love the use of the snare drum. Oh, where was that? Above me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, as if you oh, as if you don't do that. <laughs> oh god, I'm having so much fun. Ace Combat Three. I don't know. Nitro? Have I? We speak American. Page two locked. Whoa! 
Did I lose? No, okay. What happened? Status report. Multiple bogeys on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look and move, they gotta be drones. Well spotted, Cloud. No doubt about it, we're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. Feels like These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is Golem 1. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Repeat, bandits are drones. Column 1, that doesn't matter. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter? You say the war can change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Shit. Bandits are in the clouds! God damn AI. Missile did not connect. Caution. Hold up. Don't try to read their movements. Enemy UAV confirmed destroyed. Hell yeah. Column Squadron, you're not going to let Mage get all the glory, are you? Three enemies to go. I'm buying dinner for anyone who takes down an enemy. There's a bar I want to try. You're doing good. <laughs> Just two more. Crap. The aircraft is icing up. I'm getting a warning. Get out of the clouds. The ice will melt. Column 2, the enemy's reading you. Thank you. The clouds are screwing up the accuracy. Stall warning. I think. Caution. Pull up. Yep. Time for his combat. He's not getting away. Well, hit him then. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. No! Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. Caution. Hold up. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. What is splash? Is that when you make contact? You've given <laughs> us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. <clears throat> Wingman's on my list too. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Hmm. 
So does Ace Combat 5 have the best story? carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier, Kestrel-2, was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Farbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. Got it. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Sweet. Eurasian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. Mm. Oh, I see. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. <laughs> hey ZT, ZT, yeah, yeah, that's me. Buenas. That's me. Yeah, aren't they? I think so too. Okay, so we know they're super fast, so. Moon Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. I don't know. Assault Horizon has some pretty damn good music, though. <clears throat> I've done a couple tracks from that, I've really enjoyed it. Refueling? Oh my god. Crazy that they can do that. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage One, Wilco. Almost sounded like uh, like Michael Jackson for a second. It was weird. Listen to that. Oh, my God. Page one to 
Golem 1. Thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, stick to them like glue. Don't let them out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins. Where the hell is this guy? That orchestra, the strings. That's your chance to take him out. Roger that. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Woohoo! I haven't even broken a sweat. They have to be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabbit dog would know better. Missile, missile incoming! Evade! Break! Break! Wait, what the hell? Caution! Missile! Caution! A large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft, stay alert. Oh. No 
No change in Missile. game plan. Missile. Destroy Missile. the arsenal bird. Golem Squadron, take out big baby Huey. Chatter for the debriefing. Gollum and Mage Squadron, give our allies some time to escape. We'll go, but Gollum 2 is hit. Gotta send her back. Let's get dirty, Trigger. Whoa. Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Gollum 2, head back to base. Gargoyle 1, escort Gollum 2. Continuing the mission. Still got my wings. Trigger doesn't need to fill in for me. I'm back and I... You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. <laughs> Pull up. Copy that. Pull up. Returning home. Man, there's some... Behind one. Column three, missile, invade! This is where we are. Targeting range of guns. That's it, Trigger. They're machines. Don't show them any mercy. When you're fighting that the the big ship, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of like terror in the music, almost like it's like like it makes you feel really uncomfortable because because the thing is like so huge compared to you. It's almost like the closest thing that Ace Combat could get to horror. I feel like you know <clears throat> with the Arsenal bird, you know, pretty crazy. It is terrifying too if you think about it. They might cut off your retreat. My status is fine. Affirmative. I did earlier today, yep, for an hour. Retreating aircrafts. Prepare for combat. It's a bogey. Gargoyle one, golem two, engage now. Attack. What the hell? Column two, status report. Oh Just shit. Talk to me. I'm against an SU thirty. Rich wing tips. I can't shake it off. It's matching me move for move. Column two, stop dog fighting and run. Don't think, focus. You're mine. I'll make it quick. Star warning. Star warning. Mage two, missile launch. Mage two, UAV down. Mage two. 
There's a little bit of that Archangel. Yeah, I hear that. Listen to the chorus. Oh shit. Really is terror. That's the first casualty, I think? Man, that's so sad. Skykeeper, where's the one that got brony? Afraid he's long gone by now. Sorry. All UAVs have been splashed. Rip <laughs> oh. I said what I had to say. About what? Not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. That was the right decision at the time. No, I should have never let a fledgling like her out of my reach to begin with. Golem Squadron, Maid Squadron. Withdraw. Ayaka from Genshin Impact. <laughs> Damn, that thing is fucking scary. Do I get to land? Runway is clear. Mage 2, you are cleared for landing. 3,000 to runway. Mage 2, lower speed. Mage 2, lower nose. You're too high. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. We got her done. Perfect, Mitch Two. Well, I wouldn't I say. I wouldn't say perfect. I wouldn't say. Wouldn't say perfect, but. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons. <laughs> First try. What was my favorite shot soundtrack so far? Uh, probably when fighting the, uh... Unfortunately, what's the it called? front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was sunk during the attack Pop on Farmonte. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned... The tension in that was really cool. Against us. Our own forces also suffered Arsenal heavy losses. Bird, yeah. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, yeah, many Arsenal of us bird. wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. Probably a C. What? Okay. Here he comes. Ba -ba -ba -boo. Ba -ba -ba -boo. Mihai's looking worse. Mahali. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, fifteen and ten. Oh God, he looks like Engaging shit. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body, but today he was really showing his age. 
The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. Hmm. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Pino. Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I try to bust Her motive out, is always this like Western vibe. It's kind of interesting. Would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. It's no a two hour stream. Sit here and rot away in this hell hole. Hey, coffee, what's Dark up? Blue. Instead of building fake ass planes to trick Arugia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. Two hour stream. You can count on that. So, Osea bad. Uh, your 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 Eurasia good. Pacific. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will uh, be difficult. I played it once before, but it was like a real crash through. However, we still need to get. So I didn't. I don't remember much of it. No matter what it takes. But it is my first playthrough, Someone like, there paying attention. Us. The hero of the Circumpacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator Got it. when the war broke I see. Out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over <laughs> by the Erujian forces. However... According to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hit him in I don't remember a lot of it, though, to be honest, because it was so fast. I think I played escape. it in, like, two days. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. Oh, shoot. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. 
so we can elude the enemy's observation. Really? There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, oh you will God! Be to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Operations complete. Sortie ASAP. Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. She will radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Oh. Stay out of enemy radar. Fuck. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Tension music. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. Well, what am I supposed to do? Fly above them? There it is. Ah! I didn't want to see that. Entire airport. <laughs> Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry, we're watching over you. <laughs> Is that Daredevil? Oh. Look, I'm not going to lie. It's just going to be you and your radar out there. Just know, you got a bunch of people pulling for you. Oh, that's the Archange motive. Wait. And I'm oh, one no. no change. We're on high alert. 
Send up interceptors on the double. Huh? Why? We're watching. It's probably just a bug. Fuck! You're three fourths of the way. Ah! Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harley Take the shortcut. How do I know what the shortcut is? He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. Take the shortcut, he said. I don't know what the shortcut is. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> I don't want to open the map. It's terrifying to look at. Uh oh. Oh fuck. This isn't right. <gasps> this isn't right. Hang in there. This isn't right. Oh shh. Situation normal. Not excited. I took the shortcut. Situation report. Something's happening. Nothing to report here. Everything's quiet. You open the mini map. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yeah, I would hate to do this over. Whoa! Did it just muffle when I was in the clouds? That is so cool. going over a city. Surely they have a radar. It's pretty cool that they would use a soprano right here because it builds tension. It's really impressive actually. It's such a it's like almost like like a like a like a church chant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not backtracking. Do we have bandits? Tell me the situation. I just went a long way. No Stay alert. You're leaving Operation Airspace. I'm doing exactly what the map says. Look. Oh yeah. Trigger the first stage of the mission is I went clear. I went further than I should have. Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Oof. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary Whoa. craft will be arriving shortly. Bad. Bad. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Locked. Missile. 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 Target is down. Missile. Mage 2, target destroyed. Missile. Missile inbound! Missile inbound! Missile. 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 Mage 2, bombs away. Shit. 
Mission still in progress. Stand by. Mage 2, rescue team can't land until anti-air weapons are down. Destroy them. You're almost out of special weaponry. I see that. Mage 2, target destroyed. I hear it. I got him. He's mine. All Sam sites down. There are still AA guns. Destroy them and secure the LZ. Half of the anti-air guns down. Hey, fixer. Wow, this is really motivating. Oh, that. Who's living there? Hell yeah! There's that. Oh shit! There's that jet engine. All anti-air guns destroyed. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, we're clear to land. Roger. <laughs> Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. They're container launched UAVs. <laughs> oh. Rescue craft tag on. Initiate. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. <sighs> it's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. <laughs> That's beautiful. Missile. Missile. Fox 2. Target is in range of guns. Missile. Ambush! Fire from the far shore! They're targeting us! Get behind the chopper! Caution. UAVs approaching the space elevator. Stop them. Bro, respond. Is Mr. Harling alive? Damn it. This track is dope. Oh, 
See if I can get ahead of this thing. Nice. I got him, I got him, I got him. Ooh. All UAVs have been splashed. All aircraft. Former President Harling's transport is ready to take off. Mother Goose One, take off. Let's wait till we're home safe. Mage Squadron, Mother Goose One is heading south. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Shit. Mage, protect Mother Goose One. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum one will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum two, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. I like the <clears throat> the real rock elements of this. They're so fun. Hit. 
Other Goose One has been hit. Colonel Johnson, respond. Main Squadron, assess the situation. Huh? This is Mage One. I have Mother Goose One in my sight. The cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. Colonel Johnson, are you okay? Don't worry about that. Just send help this way. I'm sorry. Can't be starving. Please. Mother Goose One, respond. Mother Goose One. Skykeeper, should we continue providing cover for Mother Goose One? Of course. Missile away. Target is in range of guns. Where's Mother Goose over here? Mother Goose One is turning. What's going on? They're heading to the space elevator. Flying at a steady altitude. Who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Mr. Harling's the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond. Mr. Harling, please respond. We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Now's not the time to freak out, fellas. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. What the hell? The UAVs are approaching Mother Goose One. Let's go, Trigger. Take him down now, Mage Squadron. One minute remaining. Stall warning. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat airspace. Mother Goose One, Mr. Harlan, are you piloting that plane? Mage Two, Mage Two. No, damn it. I was. Shit. Oh my god. Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Oh, it was Mage supposed to happen. Fired that. There was no chance. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose One exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. The Rusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage One. It's a trigger. <sighs> trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our object. I told you to keep a goddamn eye in the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Why was there a reference to Unsung War there? Wouldn't it be funny if... <laughs> you should have known better. I the Operation to Rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Oh. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating the former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court martial. Court martial. I see. It's probably a good place to pause, huh? <laughs> Let's pause there so I can think about my actions. <laughs> Uh, let's pause there. That was very fun. I enjoyed that very much. I hope you did too. That was that was a super super fun time. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't know such thing. Going to prison. Maybe that's where I'll meet the daughter. Um, yeah. Thanks a ton. When shall I do this again? Do you prefer it if it's scheduled? Um, or can I just do this whenever? And then if you either are here or you see the VOD, I could, I could arguably do, I mean, it's not a very long game. It's like what? 11 hours, 12 hours. <clears throat> Schedule would be nice. Okay. I'll do my best. I mean, I could just play it all week. Yeah. Okay. Probably four streams. <clears throat> I do have like a million games to play and write about. 
and I'm planning on writing about this, obviously. I'll keep you posted. I I'm obviously, I'm working my way to partner right here on Twitch. So like I'm doing sometimes two streams a day just to get my hours. So then I'll slow down once that's done. Um, while also filming videos and filming scripts and stuff. So let's say there will be a dummy uh, and then five, okay. And then, and then figure that there will be a dummy uh, YouTube live so that you, in case you forget or you don't see it, there will be a dummy live. I'm still trying to work this transition out so people recognize that I'm on Twitch now for gameplay. I mean, yeah, I could do some multiplayer at some point, sure. <clears throat> okay, well, let's let's aim for this week then. I'll I'll double up on Honkai and on uh, Ace Combat Five. And definitely, there is a VODs channel, Marco Meatball VODs, and that'll be up. This will be up on. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Marco Meatball VODs is the is the VOD channel. So. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, that's that sounds good. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a ton. This was a blast. I'm really glad to be playing this. So we'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye.